showbiz in full HD. We're out at the African Pride Hotel at Melrose Arch today to catch up with powerhouse female film director and producer Rosie Thomas, who has been involved in the brand new series to come out of the BBC Natural History Unit, Dynasties. An alpha male known as David. His rule gets him the best of everything. But he can trust no one. He's surrounded by rivals prepared to kill him for his crown. This is a story of power, politics, and the fight for survival. Rosie, welcome. Thank you very much. What an incredible experience to go and be in amongst the chimpanzees in Senegal. Um, tell us about the, the sort of process of how this came about, that you went to spend the time with the apes and go and sort of immerse yourself in their lives to film this. Uh, so, I mean, four years ago, so a long time ago, um, the executive producer, Mike Gunton, came up with the idea. He took it to David Attenborough, who said, you are nuts, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, because we were going out into the field for two years and um, we had absolutely no idea what was going to happen. And we chose five of the most um, iconic and yet endangered animals on the planet yeah. to follow. So each episode follows a different species. Yeah, you've got the, the penguins and the tigers, um, painted dogs. And oh, lions, okay. yes. yeah. yeah. Um, but the first episode is chimpanzees and they asked me to make that film. Okay. And um, yeah, so I, I kind of looked at a number of different groups of chimps and the group in Senegal that we I ended up choosing mm. to follow um, was kind of we chose them because they were at a bit of a turning point and it's the same for all the films so yeah. all the films are stories about families and leaders and their, how they try to survive mm. within their environment and we the group in Senegal the alpha male had been leader for three years already wow and in that group that's kind of the usual tenure length for an alpha male yeah. so we knew that there was possibly going to be a little bit of like a shift of power yeah, yeah a bit yeah. of jostling and certainly the younger males were starting to just like jostle for position yeah. a little bit so we chose to go there and and yeah we we spent 309 days wow. in Senegal over the period of two years mm. um all with one group of chimps and actually really just following one chimp a very special chimp called David who was okay. the alpha male so who is the pe who are the people that that you deal with um, in the area specific to that area who kind of help you and assist you? So uh, we worked with the scientists and mm -hmm. there's a, a wonderful woman called Jill Preetz. Yeah. Um, she's an American scientist and she started following this group nearly 20 years ago and she headed out to Senegal and she found them and she spent four years habituating them to human presence. Wow. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, she's a she's an extraordinary woman and but she has followed them for mm. ever since and her and her research assistants who work there at local Senegalese guides um, who are without them we could never have made the film they were extraordinary uh, trackers yeah. um, but they knew the chimps inside out so they were able to tell us all the personalities of all the yeah. individuals and all their life histories and the family tree and everything and so because of that we were just able to really understand mm. the group which was I mean, it's it's just such a, I mean, to start at that point is yes. fantastic. Because in a way, I mean, you, you can kind of go with an idea of, of a storyline. You know, obviously as a filmmaker, you, you want to create stories in your head mm. and you can kind of have an idea, but you just literally don't know what's going to happen. So yeah. even filming, were there times where you were thinking something was going to go one way and then completely out of the blue, something else happened and surprised you? Yeah, I mean, literally from day one, we had no idea what was going to happen. We had an idea of what might happen, mm. um, but even those events that we thought might happen, we weren't sure how they were yes. going to play out at all, yeah. um, especially the ones that kind of involved power plays and politics and um, 
the kind of social aspect of stuff. Yeah. There's certain behaviours that they do there that we knew that they were going to do yeah. um, because they're quite unique to that group. It's quite a unique group okay. of chimps anyway. Yeah. They, they do quite so a lot of So they kind of special... briefed you on that, you know, the scientists who'd been close to them sort of yeah. explained all of that to you. Yeah, exactly. So we knew that there were certain things that that group did that we hoped mm. we would witness and film. Um, but yeah, a lot of the rest of it we didn't know. And so we literally were day by day working out where the story was going to go next and yeah. and the kind of twist and ter twists and turns along the way which was just i mean it's it's a completely different way to make um natural history yeah. filmmaking and so it's it really kind of it's a new type of storytelling that we've that we've brought to this series mm. and across the series it's the same thing i mean all five films yeah. kind of all set out without knowing what was going to happen and in every single one the twists and turns are so dramatic that the yeah. reality of lives for these animals is just extraordinary. It's like a, a, the no beginning, idea. the middle and the end kind of thing of the story. Exactly, yeah. And being so close to them, um, you know, as a film crew obviously, and you, and you want to respect the, the habitat, you want to respect mm. the space, and obviously there is danger involved. How do you blend in and be part of it at the same time, which really comes across, I must say, um, in the footage that you almost it could have been another chimpanzee filming. Do you know what I mean? Like you were that close. Yeah. Well, w I mean, because of the scientist who, who'd worked there for such a long mm. time, we were able to get quite a lot of insights to start with. And then we worked alongside them and they would always be able to get us um, in the right positions. Yes. And then, but also because they've been following them for so long, the chimps just really weren't bothered by they our presence. Yeah. No, so we we were able to work, we'd usually be about 12 meters away from them, so relatively close, yeah. but we never impacted on their mm -hmm. behavior at all. They would just kind of go about their daily business. And so as a result, we were very much able to observe, but I felt in order to bring David's story to the screen, I had to understand him yes. and try and get inside his head. I think we, I mean, I certainly was, quite obsessive. I, I know all the other producers were quite obsessive about yes. their films and incredibly passionate. And then the crew who worked with me, the cameramen mm. and the field assistants who worked with me, they bought into what I was trying to do. And as a result, they became incredibly passionate as well. And, you know, we all just connected with those mm. chimps because you can just see so much of us in them and them in us and yes. you can't help but but connect with them mm. and um, I mean we all had our favorites and you know by the <laughs> end of it and uh, um, but the two cameramen as well who, who shot most of the film um, they were just as passionate as I was yeah. and, and so it was you know their shots as well you, I think you can see that. Yeah, it's amazing to be in tune like that to, to share that vision and mm. be able to to capture that in itself. Were there ever moments where you can't interfere because it's nature and it is what it is, you know, and that, that where I don't want to give anything away for people who haven't seen it, but where you, you felt that you wanted to help and you, you can't, you can't help because the story yeah. has to unfold and it's nature, you can't get involved. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's often occurrences. I mean, in the film, there is one particular incident, but um, there's often cases where animals get hurt. Yeah. And it's incredibly emotionally difficult, especially when it's individuals that you've spent so long with. Yes. Um, but you you just ca you can't do yeah. anything because you can't, you know, that's, in part, it affects their society. You know, yes. that's how their society works. And mm. you can't interfere with that. Tell yeah. me, um, tell me some of your highlights of your time there, whether it's footage related or just experience related. Oh gosh, I mean, just being in such a unique position to be able to spend such a long time, mm. you know, hundreds of days with the animals is that in itself is just, I will remember it forever yeah. because just being able to connect with those animals and, you know, a lot of the really fond memories I have are the funny moments, you know, where you, you see a chimp like climb into a tree to try and feed on some fruit but the mm. tree's far too small and it just snaps in half and then the chimp <laughs> lands on the ground and looks around and sort of says it's okay nobody Didn't saw no me and just it. like strolls off you can see that in the expressions yeah in the yeah face. you know they kind of yeah. look they glance around and that then human like, element hey yeah exactly yeah. um so you know and, and when the youngsters play you can watch it for hours because <laughs> they're just having so much fun yeah. you know you can just tell that they're enjoying their life and um you know i think a lot of those moments are the ones that I remember very fondly. Mm. But then the endeavour of it, the, the real tough and harshness. I mean, it was tough, but... For, a, sense... for a woman, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm like a 
got to have my my stuff, my products, my you know, that kind of girl. And to to think about that kind of the slog. And I mean, you guys worked so hard. You were up mm. at what time every day? If we were unlucky. 3.30, if we were lucky about quarter past four, but yeah, early. And then, like you said, flies and mud and dirt and just kind of getting on with it. I mean, yeah. what a passion project. Amazing. Well, yeah, I mean, it all had to be done on foot. Mm -hmm. So you, you, we did everything on foot. So I think I worked out that across the, the 309 days, we walked two and a half thousand kilometers. <laughs> and every day we were carrying over 80 kilos of kit between a, a team of three people yeah. so you've got heavy packs on your back and mm -hmm. the temperatures are in the 40s and you know you just yeah I mean it was a slog and then you've got flies around your face and and bees limited sting resources and, as well I, I would imagine for food and that kind of thing yeah so you know very remote place I mean luckily there's a they they live quite close to a small town mm. so we weren't too isolated but thankfully because otherwise I think we would have gone insane over that period <laughs> of time but but um I think just just the amount of work that went into it, mm. you know, we just all wanted to succeed and to to be able to tell this story. Yes. And so the sense of achievement at the end of it has just been colossal for everybody involved. Mm. And I, I know that the same apply. I mean, all the other films didn't have to do it on foot, but, you know, I know <laughs> yes. that the, the endeavour and the, the lengths that they had to go yeah. to to get those stories is just immense and and I think that shows through across the series sure Clean. what is next for Rosie Thomas a holiday <laughs> that would be great to Senegal perhaps <laughs> no somewhere else <laughs> somewhere with the, with baths and plugs and, yeah. yeah exactly um yeah I think we have you know I'm just kind of finishing this off so I think yeah just a bit of a break and then I mean the natural history unit um at the BBC, at BBC Studios has, has got a number of exciting new projects coming up for the future and okay. I think you know I'll probably move on to one of those Amazing. but I'm not sure which yet. We wish you all the best Rosie with thank whatever you. it is uh, that you do next and thank you. thank you for your for your love and your footage and your story through um, Dynasties with the Chimpanzees. My pleasure. Up next on Showbiz in Full HD we take a trip to the red carpet at the Mzanzi Viewers Choice Awards. Celebrity, fashion, and so much passion.